So here I was sitting, trying to decide on my top 10 books of all time. And then I was like, that's really hard. But what about the most fun? Hey everyone, welcome back to Andrew's Wizard of the Reads, and today guys, we are doing a top 10 list of books that are gonna make you giggle, that have that wit, that have that snark, that are just pure fun and entertainment. But before we get into this list, please do me a favor, like this video and subscribe to the channel, as it does help the channel grow. And you can check the description box down below for links to the Discord, as well as the newly updated Patreon. Your support is always appreciated. And with that, out of the way, it is time for a top 10 list. Now, we're going to do the one that I don't own physically yet. I do have a Kickstarter of this one coming, but it's not here yet. It's not going to be here till September. But of course, that is Dungeon Crawler Carl kicking off the list. And frankly, I don't need to tell you that this is fun because everybody else here on BookTube is telling you that this is fun. We've got Carl. We've got Donut. We have got an apocalyptic dungeon with alien races doing TV guest show spot appearances and wild monsters and inventions and inventive ways to die and it's just madcap it's crazy and it's got a catchphrase that catchphrase of course being god damn it donut like whenever carl says god damn it donut like it's just fantastic because you know that donut has gone and done something rather irritating or very 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 cat like this is of course going to be on this list like how could it not be on the list because Frankly, Matt Denneman has captured lightning in a bottle over and over again with the zaniness, the creativity, and the fun that is Dungeon Crawler Carl. Next up on my list, I am going to do J.A. Andrews, The Keeper Chronicles. Everything else from here on out, I own physically. And frankly, this is a bind-up of the trilogy. And let me tell you what, each book has its own level of wittiness and snark will is very funny he is the main protagonist of book two and alaric the way he interacts with elves and dwarves and everybody else is just like they're serious books but at the same time man there's so much attention and heart put into these that whenever a character is interacting with anybody else it feels like a real interaction with just just a, a lick of fun and just care put into the story i really really enjoy this series and i highly recommend that you pick it up too because even though it's fairly successful i feel like this should be 10 times bigger than what it is like if you love classic fantasy this one's for you next up of course making the list is john scalzi old man's war series and this this series is while brutal absolutely hilarious john perry and all of these characters are basically just teenagers because what's essentially happened is they become they've gone from old men and women to like prime 20s and everything that goes along with it and it just kind of revitalizes their humor like they've got this kind of dark humor because they've reached the end of their lives they've been given these second chances and through all of that they just maintain this level of fun despite all of the darkness that is going on don't get me wrong it's got serious moments but a lot of it is just funny like i i have literally laughed out loud during this at least two or three times throughout the series where it's just i couldn't help that kind of belly laugh that just comes out of nowhere like oh old man's war has that in spades and you're gonna kind of notice a theme a lot of these are either going to be sci-fi progression style fantasy what have you i just tend to find those incredibly fun please let me know in the comments down below what are some of the entries on your list and what subgenre does that fall into because frankly i'm always in the mood to find something that i consider fun to read we've of course got war formed storm weaver number one iron prince this whole series is hilarious some of the best found family ever the banter is fan fantastic the main character uh, is constantly made fun of because he's small and the way that raiden war can take it and dish it out like ah oh, like some of the best character banter ever is within this series and it just moves so incredibly fast don't let this page count fool you i read through this in like two to three days i couldn't put it down it was so incredibly addicting then we've of course got 
Will White. And Will White will appear on this list twice as well as Drew Hayes. But we are talking about Will White right now. And essentially, this is Last Horizon. We've got Varric Valinar. Varric Valinar is basically, he's done this ritual and he's kind of experienced seven different lives that had seven different types of magic. And now he's kind of gained all of that magic on top of the fact that he's gotten a hold of this sacred ancient starship called the Last Horizon. And it's got some secrets to tell. And basically he's got to bring this legendary crew together. Well, when you get really powerful people in the galaxy, they tend to come with some unique personalities. And so everybody surrounding Varric is just so incredibly interesting. Some are dour, some are insane. The ship itself is kind of like, you know, ooh, did I did I omit something? Oh, like, I just, I love The Last Horizon. I love Varric. And the third book of this one is actually getting ready to come out, so I'm very, very excited for that because, frankly, I will take Will White wherever I can get Will White because he is amazing. Then, of course, making the list is Frederick Fletcher of The Utterly Uninteresting Tales Oh, excuse me, the utterly uninteresting and unadventurous tales of Fred the Vampire Accountant by Drew Hayes. And I love this series. Now, you're either going to love this series or it's not going to be for you. It's essentially episodic entries, usually four or five or more in each book. And uh, it kind of knits together to form a cohesive plot. But basically, it's not that Fred is super funny. Some of the characters in Fred's kind of purview are super funny, but situational it's just awesome and super hilarious which is something that drew hayes is fantastic at he just writes such hilarious and relatable characters that i i literally am going to be sad when this is over because it's coming to an end here soon and i'm just not ready for it frederick fletcher and his found family which oh is just so incredibly wholesome and fun to read and basically he's made a found family and people construe that as him amassing power, which I guess you could kind of say he is, but it's not intentional. It's just how Fred is and his morals and everything bring people to him. And yet all of the powers that be feel threatened by him because he's making friends in a non-traditional manner because he is a non-traditional vampire. He's an accountant. I just, I love this. I love this series so, so much. Then coming back. We've got Drew Hayes again with super powers. And this entire series is near and dear to my heart. It's one of the first I ever read when discovering BookTube or indie fantasy at all. I just have so much love for this. Again, great found family, great banter. We've got Nick, we've got Alice, we've got Mary, we've got Vince, we've got Herschel and Roy. I mean, these characters come alive. It's superheroes in college trying to get that certificate. They're all battling for a top 10 spot across four years. And it's just so interesting to see how they grow and deal with the mysteries that are within their lives and what their predecessors did before them and they're paying for that. Oh, it's so incredibly good. And uh, if you did ask me three days ago, I probably wouldn't have included this on the list, but I am including it now. We've got Discworld. Now me, I am partial to the Moist Von Lipwood trilogy and the City Watch. And the reason I say the Moist von Lipwig trilogy is book one is Going Postal, which I am currently, I believe, 60 or 70% through. I need to move my bookmark. But, man, this is so incredibly good. It's hilarious. I mean, it's literally absurdist satire of political, social situations, but at the same time with great characters, great lessons to be learned, great commentary on modern society. That is what Discworld is. And... It's a love it or hate it type of deal, but man, when it hits, it hits hard. Terry Pratchett was the master. Excuse me, Sir Terry Pratchett was the master. He was so good, he got knighted. But man, I I am back into the groove of Discworld with Going Postal, and I'm having such a fantastic time with it that I just have to shout about it and recommend it again because, man, I, I hit a dry spell where I was working on Discworld, and it wasn't working for me all that much. And I was like, oh, maybe I was just a one and done with the City Watch. But finally, Going Postal has brought me back in to the fold. We've got two left. And of those two, of course, I told you Will White was coming back. We've got Cradle. Cradle, again, great found family. 
amazing combat, great progression, kind of a mix of cultivation as well. I just love, love Linden and Yaren. I mean, this, this group of people is just so incredibly great. Now, again, I highly recommend doing these one on Audible because they're narrated by Travis Baldry and... I really want to come back to this one and do a reread. I've got a whole separate video on series that called to me after I've read them. The, the video is recorded. I just need to edit it and get it out to you guys. So let me know in the comments also if that's something that you're itching for. Like, what do I really want to reach back for for a reread? Of course, Cradle is going to be on that list. But uh, I just, I don't want to talk too much about it because I feel like I'll just go full on word vomit. But Man, I've been talking about this for years now, and I will talk about it for years to come. And then finally, I'm going to recommend a universe that I call Arcane Ascension by Andrew Rowe. This includes War of Broken Mirrors, Weapons and Wielders, Arcane Ascension. This is so great. It's got tons of great combat, tons of great found family, tons of great friendships, autistic representation, great progression fantasy, gods, demigods, monsters, climbing spires, building and crafting magical artifacts. It's got it all. I love this series. And frankly, I cannot wait for more from Andrew Rowe. I actually just uh, filmed recently a Why You Should Read. You can check that out right there. Do me a favor and check that one out because ugh, Arcan Ascension is near and dear to my heart. I've had so much fun reading it recently. I went on a five book binge where I just consumed so many of the books in this world and I couldn't stop myself. It was like a compulsion. It's fun. It's entertaining. It's bombastic. It's a little ludicrous, but I just, I love it so incredibly much. That is my top 10 list of fun and entertaining series that you should totally be checking out. Again, guys, please let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree with my picks, but that is all I've really got for you today, guys. Thank you for watching. Until next time, peace out. Stay magical. Bye. And as always, I want to give a huge thank you to my patrons. Thank you for supporting my passion and my hobby. It means the world to me.